welcome back to the channel. So I'm bringing you another reaction today. Something that I'm kind of excited about, and the only reason I say kinda is because CW does not have a good history of doing DC comic book shows, okay? It's kind of hit or miss. Flash, Arrow, all of that was pretty good. But other shows like Supergirl, Batwoman, it, 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 it's like, it's hit or miss. But this is the Superman and Lois trailer. We're getting an official look at some footage from this TV show. I'm a huge fan of the actor that plays Kal-El in this universe. I watched him on Teen Wolf. I was introduced to him on Teen Wolf. Like many of you, you know, you all watched him on Teen Wolf. You probably saw him in other things, but that was the first thing I saw him in. I saw him in the, the, the second season of Supergirl, I think it was. And he did, he did a pretty okay job. I've watched some clips of him versus Elseworlds Superman. So, I like him as Superman. If they go in a great direction, which I'm hoping they do, then he can, he can turn out to be a good TV Superman. And eventually, when they explore the multiverse and the movie universe, it'll be a great crossover like they did with Ezra Miller's Flash and uh, Grant Gustin's Flash. But let's hop on into this. Let's not pass any judgment until we at least see a little something. And the show comes out February 23rd, if I'm getting that date right. So let's go ahead and hop on to this. But before we hop on into this, go ahead and subscribe to your boy. Comment what you'd like to see me react to down below. Like the video. Share the video. And if you have a TikTok, go ahead and follow me on TikTok. I posted my last video was a post of what I do on my TikTok. And I've posted it on every social media platform that I have. And I've received nothing but good comments about it. So if you have a TikTok, go ahead and follow me on TikTok. Um, I'm close to 3,000 followers on TikTok, which is amazing in a month that I've been on there. But let's go ahead and hop on into this. Wait, what? They had kids? You got the weight of the world on your shoulders. I really wish I could get drunk sometimes. <laughs> you're saying you're Superman? I've seen uh, Superman before. You've seen him. Am I a bad father? You may be alright. No one ever dreams about the problems, but every life has them. Even the extraordinary ones. Oh, oh, okay, okay, a lot, a lot. Literally, we're going to go through it frame by frame to try to see if we miss something. Okay, this is Smallville. This is the, the it looks like the Kent family farm. You see the cat bull, the, the earth mover back there, which I don't know why Clark Kent would need that. Just use your hands, okay? You can literally lift mountains. But, okay, this is the wedding. Uh, Clark and Lois's wedding. Uh oh, wrong thing to push. I did not mean to push that. I apologize, y'all. Well, we're not gonna be doing a breakdown because that just messed up. Anyway, okay, shut up. Anyway. So Lois and Clark had kids. I mean, it, it could pose to be a very good storyline in the show. But I don't know. I really don't know. The suit looks great. That warehouse scene where he was standing in a warehouse in the suit looks great. Him flying in space look, looked all right. You know, there was a couple of shots in this that I saw where the, the special effects didn't look half bad. And CW has a history of having mediocre special effects. You know, still enjoyable content, but the special effects are just crap. And it, it's like they can invest more money into the special effects because we see Marvel doing it with their, with their streaming uh, WandaVision on the Disney Plus app. 
you know, they dump $70 million or so into that show, and it looks amazing, and it's a show. So I know they have the money to do it because people are still tuning in to watch this stuff. So, you know, that's something. The storyline I'm hoping is, is good. I, I'm hoping the show is good itself. I wonder, who is the villain? I want to know who the villain is going to be. I'm going to tune in to watch it. Why not? You know, you know, just just for to check it out because we haven't really had a Superman show. We haven't really seen Superman on the silver screen. So any chance that we get to see an actor play him in a TV show or, you know, in an animated series... I'm going to hop on. I'm going to check it out and I'm going to let you guys know on the communities tab. Hopefully they'll release some more footage or a TV spot so we know what else we're in for. Hopefully, you know. But if you like my reaction and that little smidget of breakdown that you guys got because my computer started to malfunction, I really apologize. Please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. If you guys are tuning in to watch Zack Snyder's Justice League coming in, and that's something else. That's kind of funny that they're releasing this before Justice League comes out in March. We still don't have a, a, com a confirmed date in March on when that's coming out, but we're no, we know it's coming out in March, and this is coming out February 23rd. You know what I mean? But if you like the reaction, like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends and family. Follow me on TikTok. Let me know down below what you guys are looking forward to about this show. If you guys are even looking forward to the show. You know, go ahead over there and check out the Real Rejects breakdown and reaction of the trailer. I love those guys tremendously. Like, they're, they're one of the best out there. Hopefully, Tyrone Magnus will upload something of him reacting to it so I can watch it. I'm out.